Hey everybody, it's Corbett Lunchford from the Building Performance Workshop. If you use heating in your house, then during those phases, the top of your house is the most important place uh, because of air leakage and because of insulation. Air leakage is more important always. So one of the hints that you can always use on your own without having a professional in your house is ceiling heights. I'm going to show you what I mean. When you're on the top floor of your house, take a look around at the ceiling heights and you'll notice that the architect or the designer or whoever built your house built in a number of features in the ceilings to make them pretty. These things are actually not always good. For example, here, I can't reach the ceiling, but I step through this doorway and suddenly I can touch the ceiling. I'm in the bathroom right now. Now here we happen to have the attic access. To move from the room on the left to the room on the right where the ceiling height is lower, I'm going to show you in the attic what that means. The wall, which is right here, has to change heights. So this is the height of the room that we were in, and this is the height of the bathroom that we're in. That wall has no top plate effectively. Uh, also, here is an HVAC duct that is emptying in that we saw in the other room. This is uninsulated, so if the attic becomes super, super hot, and this is super, super cold because it's carrying uh, air conditioning, this material right here, this metal, will essentially be a Coke can that's freezing cold. So this thing will likely be all wet. If you ever notice staining on your drywall on the top floor around these air conditioning duct registers, that is why that's happening, is that the insulation is not in full contact. But this air sealing is a much bigger deal because that means that warm air that's inside the wall can rise, like it is, wants to do all the time, and get into the attic. And then more air needs to be brought into that wall cavity so it gets cycled back in and back out and you have this looping happening. Not only that, but if your thermostat is on the wall where the ceiling changes height, then in the summertime, you're going to get hot, moist air from the attic coming straight down this wall and making this thermostat think that the house is a different temperature than it actually is. So to start evaluating your own house, take a walk through the top floor and see where the ceilings change height, and you can be almost sure that there's going to be some issue with air leakage. Thanks for watching. I'm Corbett Lunsford. Tune in next time. <laughs>